In this application of the principle of inclusion exclusion, we are going to find the number of onto functions. Let's take a look now at an application involving onto functions. So just as a reminder for onto functions, uh, and I'm going to do it specific to this question. This question says we have six elements in the domain and three elements in the range. We'll call them A, B, and C. Um, an onto function is where every element here in the codomain is being mapped to by some element in the domain which means whatever our mapping happens to be, we can't have it where um, A is not mapped to, or B is not mapped to, or C is not mapped to. So that is where we're going to come up with our conditions because we need A to be mapped to, we need B to be mapped to, and we need C to be mapped to. So in order for me to use this function, I'm going to make the conditions that they are not being mapped to. So C1 is that A is not being mapped to, and C2 is that B is not being mapped to, and C3 is that C is not being mapped to. So when I find not C1, C2, C3, that means all three are being mapped to. So hopefully that makes sense in terms of coming up with our conditions. So again, how do I find the total number of functions? I'm gonna get rid of my markings here. Um, the total number of functions from a set with six elements to one with three elements. So we've got A and we've got B and we've got C and all of those can be mapped to from six elements. So we have three elements and all three can be connected to six elements. So this is three to the sixth, three elements and then again whether or not it's being mapped to from one, two, three, four, five, or six. For S1, we're saying the number of functions that do not have one element in the range. So again, if I just look at A, I'm saying now I've got two elements and still to the sixth, but there are three conditions and I'm choosing one of them. So three choose one, two to the sixth. For S2, I'm saying two conditions are met, which means two elements in the codomain are not being mapped to. So that leaves only C. So that's one element being mapped to, could be mapped to from six different elements. And two conditions, whoops, this would be then three choose two because there are three conditions and I'm choosing two of them. So it would be like A and B aren't mapped to, so C is. A and C aren't mapped to, so B is. B and C aren't mapped to, so A is. You get the idea. And then for the last one, we're saying the number of functions that don't have any elements, any of the three elements in the range. Well, this is again zero and it's zero because if nothing is being mapped to, then it's not a function because um, there's zero elements left. So it basically it's like three choose three, zero to the sixth, which is still just zero. So to find our solution, we're going to take three to the sixth minus three choose one, which is three, two to the sixth, and then three choose two, which is three, one to the sixth, which is one. And that gives us 729 minus 192 plus 3, or 540 onto functions. So here's the exact same question again. I just wanted to generalize for all onto functions what the general formula would be. So essentially, what we can use is just as we did before, we can take a look at a generalization for s sub i, so s sub zero, s sub one, and so forth, says we're going to, and this one's a little bit more clear, is n choose n minus i, and then n minus i to the m. So making it clear based on where we had n equals three and m equals six, so from a set with six elements, which is m, to a set with three elements, which is n, we're going to say s zero is three choose zero, 
3 minus 0 to the 6. So that's where we got 3 to the 6. And then this value is increasing. So 3 choose 1 and then 3 minus 1 to the 6. So 3 choose 1 and then 3 minus 1 is 2 to the 6. And then 3 choose 2, 1 to the 6. And then, whoops, 3 choose 3, 0 to the 6th, which was 0. And that's where we got the 540. So that's just a generalization that you can use uh, to make the calculations a little bit easier. Up next is our last application of the principle of inclusion-exclusion derangements.